everybody an outline, kind of like a map of the bigger picture. It's like a wheel. And there's a hub of a wheel. And then there's eight spokes that come out of the wheel. And then there's a rim on the wheel. And every moment, the wheel goes round and round. Are you here, Eric? There he is. I'm here. So <laughs> I'm going to outline something real quick. The hub of the wheel, the center of everything, and how it's about to relate to the round pen, is awareness. And there's three contexts of awareness, self-awareness. <coughs> I'm aware that my center is on cherry and that I'm in left bend with my weight on my right heel. I'm aware of what my body's doing right now. And then there's the relationship awareness. Relative to the horse, I'm aware that he is bent into our direction. He was until everybody looked at him, and then that <laughs> changed the bend. Yeah, so it's individual self-awareness, relationship awareness, and then the third context is environmental awareness. And how that is about to come into play, and he's already illustrating it, that spot is a magnet that he's going to keep being drawn to because that's the herd. And that's going to come up a lot. He's always going to want to be there. And he's going to do things like this. Here's his body. As we go around the circle, let's say to the left, on this half of the circle over there, He's going to be more than willing to bend away from us, Sandra, and move out with his bend towards the herd. And that's my energy now moving him, and driving into him. And on this side, right about there, notice how I said, and on this side, and that's when he jumped into the truck. <laughs> there are lines in here. <laughs> <laughs> there are lines in here. And the line that he's very aware of, the girth of this round pen, is right here. This is the girth of the round pen relative to the herd. Wow. The herd. Okay. And everything on this side of this line is going to do this. And we're going this way. And everything on this side of the line going to do this. When he's on this side of the girth of the round pen or the equator of the round pen, he is going to be bending into you, Sandra, in a hurry to push his way back onto this side of the girth, and then it's all going to reverse because it's like a magnet he is drawn to the herd. That's going to be huge, and, and you're going to be adjusting to that. If, and I'll talk about how, if there are no horses anywhere in sight, the magnet is the gate. Mm -hmm. Because that's where I need to go to go back to wherever there are horses. <laughs> so, Sandra, can you come in here with me, please? Here, good boy, Ryan. So, I'm about to start it, and we're going to lunge out around and start going counterclockwise to the left from where I am. Here is a block. It's rocky. Don't turn that way. It's a block. Don't turn. I'm, don't go there. As I wheelbarrow out and drive your shoulder away. Come with me, Sandra. Now, first, as Look at that. Just cut right across that circle, bent in like that in a great big hurry. And he's not even going to want to cross that line. Mm -hmm. It's just predictable. It's 100%. Hi. <laughs> Sandra, pick your left hand up. And it's going to go right in there beside his nostrils with the block. Go on in there. And keep that block. And then step out with your right leg. And we drive that away. And now we start going. Let's go. That in your right hand, please. Now, first is keeping the footwork correct. You see how he's cutting across the arena? So we're going to send the message. We don't appreciate that because you're pushing into us. Block. Now, you're going to aim next time in your belly button and the whip on the shoulder. Send that shoulder out. 
right now. We're going to drive into that shoulder. And now it becomes this. We have to be able to push him all the way out to the fence and let him know you don't crowd us. You push your way back to the herd. Good. Now when you see that energy, everybody, read his tail. It's curled. And as it just went from curled, your hands are blocked on the head. Keep that on the corner of the mouth. Watch the tail change. Watch this. It's curled. Now watch it there. See it stick straighter out? Can you see that little change in his tail, Sandra? Here it's curling, and now it starts stiffening straighter up. This is relaxed tail. Now watch it change and stiffen to competitive tail. Competitive tail, relaxed tail. Competitive tail, relaxed tail. I'm relaxed, I'm in the herd. Now you're getting ahead, you're leading from the wrong way. Step out, okay? Nice blink. Block shoulder, to the shoulder. Shoulder, push it away. Good. Now. Your legs must keep stepping out to the right. Let your left leg cross over your right leg. Yeah, there it is. Now feel this difference. Not going left. That's leading left with the left leg. That's stepping out to the right as if a wheelbarrow. Oh. Now, may I have the whip, please? <laughs> now, we add more energy from the whip. Pass that lash. You. Get out there. Do not crowd us. In the language of the horses, who can herd whom? Oh, look what that's doing. And it's just play. Get out there. No, to win in the game. If he's crowding this half of the circle to get back to the other horses, then He's the winner. I have to literally be able to drive him away from the horses 